Welcome back, Journey Gang. <laughs> Welcome back, Journey Gang. It's another Sunday, fun day. We in the building on Super Nanny Sunday, of course, with another Super Nanny reaction for you guys. We are back with another. We made you mess up. You made yourself mess up. We can't get it together this Sunday. You can't get it together. You know, it's already gotten. we can't get it together. It's already gotten. Anyway, we're coming back with another request. So guys, keep the request coming. I'm trying to make sure we're getting to all of them. Okay, November is booked. Times are flying, y'all. Yeah. yeah, we're already about to be in 2023. So guys, get your goals together and follow through. Yeah. Do it now. What are you waiting for? Just do it. Makes it sound anyway. Like, makes it sound like that college commercial that we all Oh see. my God, yeah. Like, what are you waiting for? You know? <laughs> Was it you... ICDC? Was that the one? I think it was ICDC College. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, maybe next semester. No, do it right now. I just want to say shout out to Netflix for making a blockbuster series. A blockbuster oh, series. They took blockbuster out of business. All right, so today we are reacting to the Helen Beck. Helen, Helen Beck. Helen Beck. Ain't no holla back, girl. <laughs> bro, please, bro. Well, I am in scorching hot Mesa, Arizona, ready to take a look at a family that desperately needs my help. Take a look. Hi, I'm Kristen Hollenbeck. My boys are Jordan, six, mm. and Jaden, he's four. My name's Patricia. <laughs> I'm the grandma. I'm Cliff, the granddad. Hey, Kristen and the boys have been with us for seven years now. First of all, why have you been in my house for seven years? She said Kristen and the boys? Yeah, the boys. So they've been you ain't see Super Nanny Face? I did, but I was just like, I mean, you know what? I had the same reaction that she had, and it took me back a bit, but now it came forward. Seven years with you and your kids is a long time. Now, it ain't nothing wrong with help. Sometimes adults have to go back home if you're able to. If your parents are able to receive you back in their house, I am not an advocate anyway for kicking kids out at 18 or whatever age, 21. I'm not an advocate for that. I actually want my kids to stay. Like me and Aaron have talked about this whole compound thing we want to build. Not a compound, like a cult thing. A compound where you have your own set of housing on your land. Oh. Ah, no way, you idiot! I'm a stay-at-home grandma. Oh, yeah. You're not drinking that, are you? Oh, they got nice I do real okay. estate here in the, the Phoenix cool. area. And you're on the other one. <laughs> Jordan will just burst. I was talking too fast. I hate you. Scream. Stop, stop, stupid. Throw things. Oh, yes. He's a tough kid. Okay. Who? Who? First of all. Uh, uh-uh. <laughs> first of all, I want to know who gave these kids these streets of rage <laughs> haircuts. haircuts. And like they act like kids from Streets of Rage. I don't, My even, God. I don't even know what's that. It's a video game from oh, the Sega okay. from, from back in the day. Okay. You always used to play Sega. You know what Streets of Rage is. But it's My just a straight God. mohawk. The sides are gone. Straight back. <laughs> they just said. Like, it's giving My. bad kid haircut. That's what it's giving. Like it's your giving, kid is already bad. It's it's giving the collar with the spikes around it and the metal jacket. Like you know how they say kids with silver caps. Or oh biters. The kids that had the silver caps on their teeth just, back in the day just, were biters. Once again, we're back with kids that feel comfortable putting their hands. Um, and this is the elderly. <sighs> putting their hands. The elderly. On grown adults. Ooh. You and your kids? Get out. <laughs> to the left, to the left. I refuse to be mm. abused in my own home and I'm retired. To the left, to the left. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to make arrangements. That's what we're doing. We're making arrangements. In the closet. So we'll that's find a place stuff. for you. Your if dad's a real it. estate. Please don't touch. Okay. He has a lot of anger. Uh. Get over here and get your shoes on. It's like my like that, there boy. is no way I would tolerate that. No, ma'am. Nah, nah. What? That is not okay, Jaden. Jaden's got a potty mouth. Stupid. He refuses to do anything. Get over here. Jordan and Jaden, they are Jayden. kicking each other and hitting each other and pushing each other. Jaden, get over here. 
Yeah, Jordan and Jaden. No, no, I'm just calling JJ because oh, Jordan okay, is well, Jordan and Jaden. Jordan and Jaden. Yeah, suitcases would be packed immediately. I am actually, I'm actually at this point supposed to be enjoying my retirement. My husband is, you know, looks like a successful real estate agent in the state of Arizona. Um, since your dad is a real estate agent, let's set you up with some housing. I would pay your rent for a year. I would. Because I'm not going to be kicked and abused at my old age by your kids. My grandkids. We love the boys so much, but we are older and it's tiring. I hate you. It's also hard. Six minutes right here. Because Kristen makes it hard. And hold on, before we get into Kristen, I was about to say, where is she? Right, Why are they kicking in? Right in, here. Right there. That's where she is. Why are they kicking is. her parents? Right there. Where I just was realizing that. I didn't even her, see her. her kid, she's right there while her kids are acting like they're from the rock band called Megadeth. And they got a song called Mega Monday. Kristen. Megadeth on Mega Monday. Kristen, mm. get your kids. I live at home with my parents, and because of my financial situation, I am not able to move out on my own right now. For seven years? It's hard yeah, seven to years. be just the mom. I don't have anybody to back me up. Get in your room. Get in my bed. In our household, I see myself as being the mom. Get your shoes on now. Kristen is a uh, 10% mom. So not, instead of, sorry. Hold on, not a 10% mom and not Kristen over here playing some type of game. This girl is over here playing some type of game where her boys are running rampant and causing mayhem. That's what I was about to say. Instead of, so she just said, right? She can't financially support herself on her own with her kids. So instead of looking for employment or trying to come up with a plan, you're playing games on the computer and you're on you're in the bed on your cell phone. I'd be down. While your mom is cooking, cleaning, and disciplining your kids. I'd be down. You can't no longer use it you can use it when you're trying. When someone is actively trying to find a job or actively trying you that's when you can ask for help. Yeah. And people are more willing to help you when it's like this is just a downtime. This right. is just this is just an issue that you know we're gonna get through. You're looking for a better job, or you're looking for a new job, or you you have a plan. There has to be some type of plan, and then people are more willing to help you. But you sitting at, at, at in their house playing video games on a computer. I mean, you're Baby. not try, you're not trying to better your situation. You're not trying to do anything for seven years, and her parents have enabled her. Enabler, and ninety percent of whatever she wants to do. That's your fault. We just said that. Well, I'm glad you're busy. I don't respect my mom. I don't respect the way that she parents my boy. It's literally crickets right now. I literally hear crickets in my backyard right now. And I would like to say... <clears throat> Y'all are all thinking the same thing. You're all thinking the same thing. If you don't like the way your mammy and your pappy parent your children, then I believe that you should parent them yourself. I believe that you should parent them in the way that you feel is appropriate. I'm starting to think like I'm really seeing a lot of delusion Boy. in my life. It's... I'm seeing delusion personally in my life from people. Oh and I'm seeing delusion on the TV. I'm seeing delusion everywhere. And I'm starting to think, am I not in the right universe? Delusion is scary. Because I'm seeing a lot of people that say things that they think are correct. And oh boy. And they're literally completely wrong. Oh. And it's like, Man, I don't I gotta know. I got to tell you, my God, do I have to tell you a story? I ask all the time. No, you don't. I would like to be just the grandma. It's mom's responsibility to be taking care of her kids. Yeah. He's in time out, you know. It makes it very chaotic here. Who gives him junk for breakfast? You, when you're giving breakfast. Ooh. 
Okay, mommy. I mean, these Come ladies back. are clearly not on breakfast. the same page. Go to your room. <laughs> I don't. Mm -mm. How are you going to come at me for my parenting when I. Wait a minute. I raised you. Well, then it looks like we have an And now. Right, but I raised you, and now I'm raising your kids, my own grandkids, and you're going to tell me? Mm hmm. In my seniority? Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, sure is. Sure is. That you don't like the, and you're in my, and, and let alone you in my house. And you've been here for seven years. Why not? And you're going to tell not? me about my parenting? <laughs> Why not have the audacity? This one's talking about delusion. Hey, man. It's incredible. Delusion. It's incredible. Boy. Big D. Ooh. Raw. Oh. Big cat, all cat letters, delusion. <laughs> See these boys going in a good direction. Well, we only have that stinking thing. I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. You've got to stop being rude, or you're going to spend the day in your room. Super Nanny, you're our last resort. Please help us. Bear with me, guys. I know things are out of balance right now, but I'm on my way. Pat isn't alone. At least 2.4 million grandparents in the USA live under the same roof as their grandchildren. The All right, well, let's have lunch now. Jaden, come on, it's ready. <laughs> and this was one grandparent who had her hands full. Yeah. No, no, no. Jaden, and I'm not going to chase you. I want you over here now. This is a shame that in her elderly age, now she ain't crippled or anything like that, but she shouldn't have to be running She's around. She's going through some stress. She shouldn't have to be running after them. Not, not, uh, she's got to be 60 And plus. then mom is just... On the phone somewhere. Texting. Not doing nothing. One thing that I think is, is it's the big part that's missing here is when you live with somebody. I think she takes advantage of it because it's her parents. But if she was living with a friend, or, well, hey, I don't know. Maybe she's like this with other people, too. Maybe she's just, she's just, a, obviously, she's a delusional person. So <laughs> she probably just lives her life in delusion. Because a lot of people out here live their lives in delusion. But anyway, um, I feel like she's getting away with it more because it's her parents. And I feel like. If I stay with somebody and I bring my kids along, I'm going to make sure my kids are re as respectful of their property as I can. I don't even care if it's my mom. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, they're doing me, they're actually doing me a favor. My mom doesn't, like I said, it's morally, yes, your morals probably are in the wrong place if you don't, you know, want to help your family, your immediate family. Mm -hmm. But there's no real obligation. If my mom didn't have space for us, she she's not obligated to, to be take like, us in. She's not. And there's no police you can't there's nobody I can call and say, Hey, my mom won't take me in. Okay, you're an adult, right? Okay, well go find it. You have to find a shelter. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, people have to get out of the delusional world that they live in. If you need as soon as you're done with your four minutes. Right there. So I followed there. the boys upstairs and got a chance to see just how violent they can be with one another. No. Boys, 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 no. boys, no playing on the stairs because this is highly yeah, dangerous. Really Kids like to rough house. Yeah, and they're boys too, so I can see the wrestling and stuff. That's yeah. pretty normal. Like, I've said this for a few yeah. videos. Like when I was that age, I was wrestling and stuff. That's when I got a little normal. older, I was fighting off the tall trash cans and fighting mm -hmm. off the trees and climbing off trees and playing wrestling so wrestling is definitely normal yeah it's definitely normal especially with two little boys i mean they're gonna wrestle in rough house you know what i'm saying so that is what it is but i was quite concerned with these boys that they might actually hurt one another jason you're choking him no that's not part of the wrestling <laughs> that's not there's part of the clearly wrestling. no rules in this house <laughs> but when i asked grandma and grandpa about this they felt that Kristen was to blame any time uh, her and I get into it big, mm -hmm. um, she'll say, when I move out of here, you will never see these kids. I was hearing some serious resentment. So you're using the kids as pawns now? When I move out of here, you'll never see them again when I'm the one taking care of them? It was awkward meeting her for the first time, I but I was hopeful that she would be able to fix things. How was your day today? Good. Bye. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Mum had barely spent any time with her family since she'd been home, and then she went upstairs, and that gave me a chance to talk to her about her side of things. What's going on? So you weren't even there initially. And then when you got there, you weren't present. Then when you got there, you said, hey, and it was awkward, and then you went upstairs to get on the computer. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping you're putting a job application. You weren't present <laughs> when you got there. Because why did you rush upstairs to get on that computer? Is it a job application you're following up on? I hope that's what that is. No, nah, man. Hmm. Me and my parents don't get along that well. And when I come home, it's just fighting and arguing, or they'll just say little comments. And so to nothing. get away from it, I just come up here so I don't have to Delus hear it. She's delusional. What, the cry? Delusion. What is it that has you most upset with your mum? I don't think that she thinks I'm a good mom. I... Did she say that? Or the you, amount, you said, I don't think. The amount of self-pity that she has put upon herself. Oh, my God. Like... Huh? Well, when you choose to not actively discipline or raise your children... You don't even do anything. Yeah, so how... What? <laughs> let's, get, let's continue. Let's, let's... The delusion. Boy, it's hurting my heart. It's hurting my heart. That's gonna be the title, Delusion. Oh, my gosh. Do you think you're a good mom? The delusion hurts. I try my best. It must be rather difficult for Kristen to know that her own liar. mother doesn't think she does a good job as a parent. A but if you don't do much, like what do you do? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Super mm -hmm. Nanny, Super Nanny is living in the same universe that I am in. We, yeah, hey, we're all we're all in there, baby. Because my God. like she said, well, when you're not really doing much, what do you think gonna happen? I mean, when you're not really, uh, this, this is just, every time I see a clip, it's just delusion. That's going to be my comment. Cause I have nothing else. What's this? Delusion. Delusion. So are we ready to do some hard work? Yes. We're ready. All right. Sorry. I didn't hear that. Yes. Sorry. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. I will see you very shortly. Mom didn't then. say it again. Thank you. She was like, I'm tired. That's yes, your should be. Wait. I'm cooking again. I already gave you a warning. Okay, stop it. No. There you go, Mom. I put you in timeout. Because blah, blah, blah. Because mm. you're using bad oh, words. Word. You're calling names, and that's not okay. That reminds me of somebody. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy crazy. Aaron does. <laughs> that guy crazy. Aaron does that to me. I do do that to her. Every time I want to make a point, he'll try to... Copy, try to say exactly what I'm about to say when I'm about to say it. <laughs> woo, boy. For the most part, I get it right, too. He does. For but, the most part. woo, boy. Oh, he was getting it right, too. I know. He was like, because blah, 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 and you're here for da, 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 da. I'm like, ooh. But see, back in the day, and this is just my time, my Your experience. Your experience, yeah. I could never get the opportunity to even say that because mm -mm. my face no, would have been, been on the other side of that door. Well, I would have been a part of the paint on the door. My God. <laughs> My God. Would have been a part of the paint. Oh, shoot. A part of the paint on the door. Boy, I would have been the door. <laughs> People come in. Oh, welcome. Who's that on the door? Oh, don't worry about don't that. Worry about that. <laughs> don't worry about that. Yeah, don't. Then he just walks right out there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Mum was working really hard, considering she'd never done this before, mm -hmm. but I wasn't too sure how long she was going to hold out for. And that's what I was about to say. I was just about to say the same thing, too. That, and she's also, the kids are also not going to listen to her because she's never, never disciplined them. So why would I, oh, they, they think it in their head, oh, you want to play, you want to play mom now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who? What you trying to do? You want to discipline me now as a mom? Rules? Nah, baby. We grew up in anarchy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anarchy. We don't even listen to grandma. So why would we listen to you? 
Mark will Anarchy. Be. Mark will be. This is what you're going to say to him, all right? Tonight, you're going straight up to bed because you were encouraging your brother to name call when you know it was wrong. Now, you can go straight up to your room and put your pajamas on, and now you have to go to bed because you were instigating your brother to call names when you knew it was not allowed. Well, time for discipline. About time. Lord and I'm happy that, like I said, we can't react to the whole thing, so we don't know all the ins and outs, the whole context, but it looks like she's listening to Super Nanny mm -hmm. and following directions. Because she need to. Yeah, it's, but I mean, she did so much pushback with her parents, it's just like... Well, at the end of the day, baby, these are your kids. Right. <laughs> so, you need help, not your grandparents. You, yeah, that's true. Because at the end of the day, like she said, when I move out, you're not going to see him no more. Okay, so start disciplining so that way they act right at your house. Exactly. Since I'm not going to see him no more. I'm not going to see him no more. That, that's just a porn. That's just stuff people say to be manipulative. Mm -hmm. When I get, when I move out. When I do this, see, when I do that. Yeah, then you're not going to see him no more. It's just, a, it's just using the kids as a pawn and being manipulative. That's why I said delusional. <laughs> he went mad. <laughs> Go in here and change. Jordan poured water on the floor, and that was the breaking point for Mum. Jordan! That was it. All bets off, and she. Oh. What did he do? She fell hard. What did he? He poured do? the water on the floor, and she slipped on it. You didn't see that? I saw. I just saw the instant instantly drop. I forgot no, the water. He, yeah, I he, forgot that he poured the water on there. She fell hard too. That wasn't like a. You know how you catch yourself. Jordan. Streets of rage. Stuck cool. You are not allowed. No, she look like she okay. Out of but your room. You are not going to spill water. Hurt. You stay in your room. I am done. I just poured her to the yeah. side. I mean, let's you face it, you. she's getting a taste of what grandma has to deal with every day. You cry, you let it out. Let it out, because you're going to need that strength. Yeah. <laughs> you hard. know what? I think that's what it was. I don't think she wanted to deal with that. The agony, and, the, and not the agony, but like the, 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 have, the having to deal with the fighting and the yelling and the screaming. Yeah, I don't think she wanted to deal with them. I think she probably became a mom before she was really ready to be a mom. Of like, course. Like most of us, I became a mom too when I wasn't ready to be a mom, but I just, you have to roll with the punches and you have to step up to the plate when it does happen. And I feel like she uses her, she used her mom and her dad as like a scapegoat as where she can just relax and they take on the parenting role. Like they said in the beginning, she does 10% of the she parenting. She didn't want the burden of being a parent. And it's fine because actually I have, a, we all as parents, and I can speak for mother because I'm a mother. And I know that mother sometimes, because we carry a lot of the weight of the parenting. Sometimes we have gone through times where it's like, you know what? I should I shouldn't have had these kids when I did. And now I have them, so I have to deal with it. But if I could go back, maybe I would change the way I did some things, especially having kids with certain people. It looks like the father must not be playing a role in the life mm -hmm. of the kids, of these boys. So you have to really think about... Oh, you're there. You're there. Because <laughs> it's good to at breaking point. But you know what we're doing right now? We're coming in here because we're just coming in calming down and we're doing the mature thing. And the mature thing is, is to walk away when you see him fired up and angry because this child needs to be with someone who can give him authority and that someone is his mother. Yeah. That's good advice Super Nanny gave. You have to be willing to discipline your kids. Discipline doesn't mean yelling, fighting, screaming, hitting. Discipline means it's establishing a respect. That's how I define it. You know, there is a definition of discipline, but how I define it in my own household is more of a mutual respect type of thing. Respect me as your parent and I'm going to respect you as my child, but there are lanes that cannot be crossed because Ooh. I am the parent. And I feel Ooh. like that's what discipline establishes. Discipline establishes the boundaries and the lanes that parents need to have with their kids. Yep. You need to establish a boundary as I'm the parent, I'm not your friend. 
I care about everything you got going on. I care about your emotions. I care about your mental health. I care about everything you got going on in school, extracurricular activities you want to do. I care about it all. But it comes, it's a fine line where we want to be so friendly with our kids where it's kind of like, then when we put the authority on, they not listen to that. You did, you recorded over it. Clifford, you should have freaking checked. Where's the breakdown in the communication? It's mostly me and my mom. That's where we have the problems. Kristen basically just doesn't want to hear from us. The lack of respect, where does it come from? Mm. Because I, I, I've got to be honest with you, to sit and watch you speak to your parents mm. like that appalls me. I'm resentful. Okay. For everything that goes on here. You know, I just want to get out. And see, the truth comes out, you know what I'm saying? Why are you really treating your parents this way? I'm going to need to hear more because you say you want, she said that she wants to do all these things. She wants to get out. She presented for Well, we're going to see maybe her. she digs more into yada, it. Yada, 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 yada. But I don't see you taking the necessary <laughs> That's steps what I'm saying. Like, to get to where are, you want to be. What are you be. saying? It's not making sense. Like, huh? it's delusion. De I already said I was just going to say delusion. Delusion. And, and yourself? I'm pretty angry. Right, okay. I'm pretty angry with Kristen. Right. Um, she hasn't stepped up and and done the things that you had but put she, in place she for she us. Is. But you, you obviously don't feel like See? that has been the case. Okay. If so, real quick, this is what I'm talking about with the delusion. Mom is saying that she's saying Kristen hasn't stepped up. So is mom just making stuff up? Or is Kristen not doing like which one is like Liz, somebody's Liz. being delusional? And I'm pretty sure I'm like ninety. Kristen's saying that her mom is wrong, plus but her mom zero one percent sure is Kristen. It is, it is. But her mom, because her mom is saying Kristen hasn't stepped up, and Kristen's saying that's not true. So what? Who's lying? <laughs> who's lying here? The kids aren't being taken care of, then. Who's to do it? But what would make you think that they're not being taken care of? Well, mom I gets up, fixes their breakfast, does their homework 90% no, of the time. she doesn't. And Who sat down No, here? she doesn't. Right, okay. I'm here to listen to all of your points of view. But listening to you does allow me to see exactly where we're at with regards to that communication. So she doesn't get up and make breakfast? So mom and dad are lying. And she does do their homework 90% of the time. So she's lying? They're lying. The parents are lying. Yeah. That's, well, what, she did, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The parents are just yeah. bold face, yeah. straight up, yeah. lying. The, the whole family's a liar. <laughs> According to Christian? According to Christian? The whole family. The whole family. The whole family is a bunch of liars. According to Christian. The whole family. But we have video evidence. The liars. <laughs> But she come in the kinda, it was a me. Kristen the Shaggy. Oh, the delusion is wild. Woo boy, I guess we'll finish up this little conversation. Mm -hmm. And obviously we've not made any progress. Mm. All right, so let's take a look at Mum and the boys. I did one. Mommy, what are you doing? Um, kind of like a crossword puzzle to fill in the words. Okay, so guys, let's let's break this this picture down here. So Kristen said that her mom ain't doing nothing right. Okay, so we have her on the lazy boy, um, doing the word search or crossword, or whatever. Um, boys are sitting at the table. Looks like I see who's that in the back there in yeah. the kitchen, cooking. Is that mom? Is that the great? Is, is that, that her house? Oh, wow. Oh. And you're, where's she at? On the lazy boy with the, oh. Doing the cross word. Hmm. How's that? So who's, who was cooking breakfast again? Who, who wasn't doing it? Who wasn't taking care of the boys again? Oh. Hmm. Somebody thought the cross word puzzle was. More significant than this But time. Kristen, I, I mean, when, when clear evidence is presented... Feet up. Toes out. I mean, she's almost like the person, like, she's literally like the person getting caught in a crime and her face is, like, highly... 
the resolution on the picture is her and she's literally pointing and saying it's not her but we can all in the courtroom the jury we the jury can see it's you but it's not and you need to understand that's how Kristen feels and Oof. if you don't understand how she feels you're delusional I'm telling you I, I'm in stranger things you're delusional if you don't understand how Kristen feels. I've been in Stranger Kristen, Things for the last week. Kristen. I'm in the upside down. Says everyone is a liar. <laughs> no matter what you see. I am she the best come, what is What does Charlamagne say? Come to the front of the congregation. Gosh. She need to come to the courtroom. Because it's just. My God. Yeah. We see the evidence. And the evidence is saying you're a liar. Mm. We'll finish this one up. Mommy, can you come hit it with us? Okay. Mommy, can you come hit with us? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hit the ball with us. Swing. You swing, and I'll watch. Hmm. Mark. Okay, guys. Dinner's here. Dinner. 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 She had the iPad, the iPod, the iPod, the hmm. iPod, the iPod, the iPod, the iPod. Once again, we have clear evidence. Come to the front of the court. No. It's time for you to get judged. <laughs> and I'm the, I'm the judge and the jury. And mm. I need a gavel. Because, okay. okay. honey, let me bring you back to earth because I don't know what world you're living in after dinner. Yeah, we're going to wash our hands. Let's go. Mm. Well, yeah, grandma so cares. Good. Let's go. Come on. Damn, Do you think that Saudi? people will cares about our boys? I think Kristen cares about Kristen first. Hmm. Any comments, Cliff? I think she loves her kids, but I don't think they come first. And there we have it. And the parents already knew. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. Say, I need to see what Kristen says, cause sis, you come to the front of the court, man, and ex plead your case, please. Because we saw you on the Lazy Boy twice now. Twice. And I'm pretty sure we can't look at the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure you were there the whole time. Twice, Kristen. You did nothing. You did. But nothing. she literally just said they lied and said that. I told you, Kristen said everybody's a liar. I keep telling you that in Kristen's world. Everyone is a bold face, black tongue, rotten tooth, stinky breath lion. Mm, that's crazy. Okay. Thank you for your honesty. We're talking about the truth, and it's hitting raw nerves and feelings. But we've, but we've been here already, and time has gone on, and we're still back in this same place, which shows me that there are some things that certainly haven't been learned. And that's why, as human beings, you're all feeling very raw and disrespected and angry and hurt. Oh, boy. I wish we could do the whole thing, but we're going to cut it right there. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of delusion and a liar. So and that can drive a person to insane. You can see why the grandmother mainly looks like their grandmother because she's taking on the mother role, oh, yeah. mother role again. The grandmother, she's tired. Is tired, tired at her wit's end. Yeah. And Kristen thinks, oh, baby, you're not supposed to be tired. I do. I am the mother. I do. I do what I need to do as a mother. But in every clip. We saw you sitting down. On your butt. Your kids even said that you don't care. Mommy mommy doesn't care. That's exactly what Jordan said. That's what your son said. Jordan said mommy doesn't care. So now are the kids lying? Oh, yeah. The kids are lying, too. They're going to be lying next. Didn't I tell you? The whole family is a whole, liar. Everybody's lying. The whole family is a liar. According to Kristen. I'm telling you. I hope that Kristen got herself together. Mm. So... Since your case is rested, what is the what is the decision? The decision is I can't say what I want to say. 
Cause I, so Brian and Joy find you guilty of delusion. And the charges are you were immediately kicked out of the house. <laughs> the charges are immediately no, Eff effective immediately. That's not the charge. The charge is you're going to therapy. Done. We're finished. Yes, guys. Finito. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Excuse me. Hey, come on. Let's do the outro. Like, come on. I already have to edit enough. All right. We'll see you next. <laughs> we we gonna see y'all because this is what I have to deal with. Okay, this is what I gotta deal with. It's too much. It did be too much sometimes. It's too much sometimes, and I'm I'm just expected to just be jolly old Leisha yep. and just you know. Open your legs, do all that. Yeah, I, I yeah, it's a lot being a woman. Yeah, I'm ain't going, I'm ain't going through the list. Don't even act like because I don't Donald do you like that. You I, should, I should put my hand down now, but I'm sorry. You don't treat me like that, but you do a lot of playing that sometimes I be over. Right.